you walk out on the deck and you see the one smiling face just for making a splash in the water and that does it. it you can't not smile. I was basically born into the YMCA. My father has always been at the Y. Uh, he's worked there for currently about 30 years. And so it's just something I, I knew from birth. Um, I grew up starting on the swim team. That's where I learned to swim. I learned to play baseball. I learned to play soccer. Uh, everything is the Y to me. And so it's just kind of natural that I fell into that as kind of volunteer coaching a soccer team. And then I became a lifeguard at 16, continued lifeguarding for a really long time, and then just kind of progressed through the lead lifeguard, then I became a coordinator, and then a director. Being an aquatics director is a scary, scary job, first and foremost. It teaches you every aspect of safety you could ever possibly think of. It uh, hopefully, as a kid, it taught me that I'm going to get a tan, I'm going to be able to hang out outside, and then you learn really quickly through the lifeguard course that this is very, very serious. The day typically starts out, uh, you answer a few emails that you got from the evening before for maybe your swim team or swim instructors, and then you return uh, probably 10 or so voicemails that you got from uh, some swim lesson parents, and then Usually you'll work on uh, some swim lesson trainings or some lifeguard trainings and then you'll do a couple of quick checks or uh, checks to make sure your lifeguards are doing what they're supposed to do. And then a lot of it's a meet and greet. It's pretty much being out and being visible on the deck. I think that's the most number one important thing I do in my job. Uh, first and foremost, I see working with the number of lives that we have the ability to touch through swim lessons that you start out with them at six months old and they go all the way up to teenagers on your swim team and so you really get to develop those kids and it just, you see them grow and so we have just such an easy, easy access to really help these kids grow and learn the mission of the YMCA. I think it's one of the easiest things we do. We're, they're so impressionable at that young age that if we give them the right guidance that they'll know everything about the YMCA. Your supervisors are almost always the most approachable people, hopefully. So it just it gave me guidance to know what was there and she didn't necessarily say you need to take this this is where i see you going and growing but this is what's out there you can do this if you want to and i asked about a lead lifeguard position and they said you know what you'd be perfect for it let's start to get you trained for it so that's how i pursued it Watching the members come in day after day and people come through my doors and swimming, uh, it's just, it's a joy watching an adult come in and being afraid of the water to leaving our class at the end of seven or eight weeks. And they can swim, they're not afraid of the water. The numbers matter, of course, but that's not really what it's about. Um, coming in every day and what is your impact, our executive director, what's the impact you're making? And that's what drives your YMCA, I believe that's what is success.